Team Jackson, what's happening? So I was just chopping it up with my homeboy, man. We were both taking a little break from the 24-7 Rona coverage. Um, and he was telling me a story about this girl that he ran into more recently that he used to dig back in the day when he was like 17, 18 years old. And she had curved him back then, but then whenever he just ran into her, you know, it was all good vibes. It was all love. She seemed attracted. And he was trying to run that whole, oh, back then she ain't want me. Now I'm hot. She all on me. And I told him, like, dog, I'm be honest with you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you 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 grown up a lot. You ain't really came up that much. But I don't think I don't think this is that situation. Because typically in that situation, you see a woman who may not be in her prime as much anymore. So now her standards done lowered, things like that. And I seen a girl, you know, she's fine as hell. She can still have any guy that she wants. And I knew him back then. And quiet as kept, he wasn't a bad person, but he was on some dumb shit. We both were. Like in all transparency. Um, and what happened was that woman, she did what a lot of women need to do, which is stay away from a guy, even if he's not horrible, but recognize that he's just not mature enough to handle her. Not right then. You know, he may be perfect in 10, 15, 20 years, especially if she was to stay the same age, but not right then. And the problem is a lot of women these days, they don't make that decision and they end up in relationships where they're perpetually frustrated, aggravated, annoyed. You know, they lose respect for that guy over time because they're constantly having to tell him little shit or explain things they shouldn't have to be explaining or just feeling like they're dealing with somebody childish as hell because they are. The guy's just not mature enough to handle them. So I'm going to give you all some ways to know whether or not a guy is mature enough to handle you. Like if you notice you can't even keep him engaged on conversations that don't have anything to do with fun or sex or food, like when it comes to politics, when it comes to leaving a legacy for your family, when it comes to what to do in the case of an emergency, becoming more cultured, that guy's probably not mature enough to handle you. You know, if you notice that he doesn't make any separation between time that he spends in recreation or doing something fun and time that he needs to be spending in creating a better situation for you and the family. Like you notice there's a disconnect, you know, nothing's wrong with playing video games, but if a guy's not playing video games just in his downtime, but rather in his up, down, side to side, round to round time, even though y'all money ain't right, that guy's probably not mature enough to handle you, you know, or if you notice that whenever you guys have some type of conflict, he tries to solve it with some level of instant gratification, be it an ill-timed joke, meaning he tries to be funny at the wrong time, or he wants to jump straight to sex, or he wants to buy you something. Instead of working through the process of, of conflict resolution in an adult manner, in a mature manner, more than likely it's because he lacks the adult capacity to do so, like he's just not mature enough to handle you. Now, if you want to know the signs of a guy who's mature enough out the gate so you don't end up in a relationship with this type of guy, I go over that in full detail in my book, Don't Forget Your Crown. So if you haven't yet, click the link in the caption and get it for 50% off. But the moral of the story is this. Guys are a lot like vegetables or fruit. That's a better example. You know, sometimes it's not that we're bad because a lot of people just like, oh, stay away from the bad guys. Sometimes it's not that we're bad. Sometimes we're just not ripe. <laughs> we're just not ready yet. And when you get with a guy who's not ripe, in a sense, the relationship is still going to be bitter. So y'all let me know what you think in the comments. And again, don't forget your crown. 50% off right now at the link in the caption. I'll let y'all later. Peace.